Just the seventh start of the season for Fry, and on a picture perfect night in Northwest Arkansas, we are underway. Game one and 98 <laughs> out of the gate. Let's go. All right, then. A couple of wins against LSU, including one out of the bullpen, and a strike three called to sit down Ethan Fry. That's why those swing and miss numbers are so high this year for Hagen Smith. One two to Pearson. Back to back K's, one look and one swing it. And he launches this one on a line to right center. Wilmsmeyer makes the play. Three up, three down, including a couple of strikeouts. Hagen Smith needed just 11 pitches. One of Arkansas's three captains. And three pitches to sit down Stovall. He's shown really good bat to ball skills in practice. Trying to come on late. That is a great sign to pick up a one out walk. You were walking right towards it. Runner goes, and the ball lined into right center field. Aloy on his way to third. Exton Kling scoops it up. Pardon me, that's, it is Kling in fact, but it's a single for McLaughlin, and Arkansas's got something cooking here in the first. Ground ball to short. Braswell goes to second for one. Milan on his way to first, and Arkansas held off the scoreboard thanks to only the 15th double play turned by LSU this year. Here's the payoff. Got him looking at 96 in the black. Kravinsky didn't think so. But Hagen Smith is now K3 out of the first four. Four in the SEC. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number four of five faced for Smith. Braswell sends it to short. Alloy. If it doesn't work with Coleman or anybody else. Diggs had two hits in the finale against Auburn. It goes down looking here. That's the second strikeout for Javon Coleman. All Big 12 hit 11 home runs. Swing and a miss at 91. Third K for Coleman. Decent ascension. Chopped up the middle. Long run. Scooped up by Alloy and a little bit late. Swing and a miss for Milam. Faced him at Hoover last year and in the regular season. Off the mound, smothering stop at second by Stovall. That is why Dave Van Horn calls him the best second baseman in college baseball. A couple of outfielders, and Wilmsmeyer sends a sinking line drive to right. That'll drop for a knock. Wilmsmeyer reaches with a one out single. New. Taken all the way, and he takes ball four. Only one out. And there's ball four. LSU's already turned one tonight. And he launches this one deep right field. It is into the wind and at the fence, hauled in by Kling. Tagging from third is Wilmsmeyer. He'll score easily. And Arkansas is on the board, but LSU's lucky that Mother Nature kept that one in the park. Pole hitter when he came in. Runner goes from first, pitches a fastball for a strike. And Aloy picks up his fourth stolen base in as many tries. An opening day for this Arkansas program. And he sends a ground ball to third. Tommy White gathers and retires Sprague Lott. Could have been a lot worse. Is it he takes that fastball away and he just drives it. And he gets a breaking ball, lofts it towards left field, deep in the corner, and gone! And Tommy White has even this game with a solo home run. And for Hagen Smith, the first run allowed in SEC play. Foul before that. That one kept fair to tie it up. Hayden Travinsky launches this one deep to right field. Digs out of room. Back to back home runs for LSU. And the Tigers take a two to one lead here in game number one and they've done it against Hagen Smith who had only allowed two home runs all season. Two two to Jones. 96 right down the gut. And Travinsky was absolutely hunting fast. Line to short off the mitt of Aloy. And Braswell keeps it rolling three hits. I want to bing him. Little half swing. Smith will take it himself. And that will close the inning, but not before LSU 
Got a hold of a couple. From small town Kansas talking with Nate before the game today. This one smoked deep left field. Bingham to the fence and it is gone. Into the hog pen. And we are tied. Ball flirting center. I don't know if that's a high school. 2 2 pitch. Muscled this one to left field on the run. Bingham. Kling is there and they collide, but the catch made by Kling. Having to try to hide your signs and this one's flicked into center field for a base hit for Wilmsmeyer, who is two for two in this one. Well, number one prospect in the state turned down big money and he lasers one to right field. That'll get at least one home. White scores. Wilmsmeyer stopped at third. And Arkansas back in front. Talk about it just a minute ago. How important it was for LSU to get out of the sink, keep it a tie game. When you turn the lineup over, Stovall gets his third look of the night. One, two. Tipped into the catcher's mitt for a strikeout, but Arkansas jumps back in front, raising a banner. Here's the 3 2 to Kling. And he gets punched out. He thought it was ball four, two pitches prior. Swing and a miss on the slider. Hagan Smith didn't like the initial pitch call from Hudson White. He shook to the slider. Ball four puts McLaughlin on to start the fifth. Run through that conference. Yeah. Strike three called right on the edge. You could find yourself in Omaha. Strike three call. Braswell knew it. Carrying student members last calendar year. Would not want to be the clubby for that one. <laughs> White drew a walk his last time up. Sends a ground ball up the middle. McLaughlin being waved home from third by Nate Thompson. The throw goes to third, and he is out at the plate to end the inning. And they say the run did not cross in time. Dave Van Horn says we got to take a look at this. This is also why you bust it even if you know you're going to be safe. Because ultimately when the tag's made right here, it's just whether or not. Really interesting because they insisted that LSU come back to the field. And the announcement was just made. PA system didn't have it. And that will bring it close to the inning. Three run shot in the opener against James Madison and three solo home runs. That's it. And the one against James Madison, wind aided. And this one's lined to right center field. Wilmsmeyer on the run, comes up empty, and Travinsky is on the board with a two out single. Diggs was playing way over in the corner. Here's the 2 2 to Jared Jones. Swing and a miss on the slider. That is K number nine through six innings. Last year, Stovall was preseason first team all conference, a preseason all American, was injured with shoulder, missed the whole year, sends it to the gap, and after a wide turn, it was a 3 to 2 LSU lead. You're seeing different guys out of the pen. A little roller up the middle. Braswell boots it, and everybody's safe. 2 2 pitch to McLaughlin. Chopper to the right side. Milam was placed perfectly, and that will close. Four straight scoreless appearances for McIntyre. Goes right back to it. And sends a breaking ball into center field. Wilmsmeyer dives. It comes up empty again. Behind him, it's picked up. And it's a one out double for Mac Bingham, his second hit of the game. 2 2 to Larson. In there for strike three. Swing and a miss, and one in the dirt. And McIntyre allowed the one out double, but that was it. Greg Lott is used to the big stage. He played in Williamsport, the Little League World Series in 2014. And he lines this one into center field. Lead off single. Larson came in to pinch hit the prior inning. Nothing in two and 96. Pardon me, that was strike three. In the dirt, runner goes and Sprague Lott takes second. 3 1 to White. Upstairs, ball four. Ball four loads the bases. 
Here's the 1-1. One, one. Delota. Here's the payoff. 3-2 again. Line foul. Low and away, and he walked in an insurance run. Wilmsmeyer picks up an RBI, and Arkansas leads 4-2. Swing and a miss. What a performance by Cam Johnson. 2-2 Two -two pitch. What a job by Hudson White to bring that one back up in it. Here's the 1-2. Pearson chase it in the dirt. That is strikeout number five. The throwdown finishes it off. Line drive into left center for White. He's got a two-out single. He can just flat out hit. Field denied again, and it's ball four to Travinsky. Laser to left field. Tommy White will be waved home. The throw, Edmondson comes into third, and we've got a one-run game. And the big three in the heart of this LSU lineup goes single, walk, single. He's been a starter. He's been a reliever. Now he's trying to get him to the night. Swing and a miss by Braswell, and LSU Gets one across, but strands two more. He was the number one shortstop in the state. Those guys know where Hall is. End up putting a run across. Eventually allowed Florida to tie it. Fastball for strike three. Oh. <laughs> Four pitch walk. Whoa, this ball is absolutely launched. Three run home run for Kendall Diggs. The bat. Well, this was a swing, and this is a reaction. Off the bat, Diggs knows it's gone. Sixth of the year, right there for Kendall Diggs. That leads this Arkansas team. Strike three. The tailgating scene at Arrowhead Stadium is second to none. Little flare handled by Jones. Mm -hmm. That is a 17th strikeout for LSU batters tonight. Has allowed Arkansas to save Gackle. And Milam rips this one down the line. That is a fair ball. Larson on his way to third. They're going to wave. Now nope, pull it on the stop sign, and LSU's got two in scoring position with one out in the ninth. And now you turn the lineup over. Kicked all the way to the dugout, past White, and Lucky didn't go into the dugout. Got, got him up high. Two down. Payoff. Strike three called. And on the 19th strikeout of the night, Hewitt picks up his first save.